Hey Soup, welcome back, it's Claytano, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to rune Miho Wang, the Fire Monkey King. Um, so basically what I do in these videos is I go through, give my advice from my G3 standpoint that I play at, and how I think how you guys should rune this particular monster. I go through each one every single day, so every single day I post new ones. That means tomorrow will be Vladul, the next one after that will be Kumar, and the next one after that will be Rocky, etc, 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 and so on. Until we get through all water, wind, light, and dark, and then maybe work on the four stars. We'll see what your guys' reaction to this series is once we get through the five stars. So, just to start off, I'm going to go through the pros, the cons, the runes, the rune substat priorities, the team combinations, the alternatives for Miho Wang, and the overall rating at the very end. So to get right into it, the pros for Fire Monkey King. One, it's got a built-in stun. That is always a pro, and it's on his first skill. He's got a built-in stun on his first skill, and for some reason, that 35% seems like it's a lot freaking higher, because it, it definitely stuns a lot more than that. 35%. Am I, am I right? Uh, second off, it has a built-in sustain. So you don't even need vamp runes for Fire Monkey. I'm going to call him Fire Monkey King. I don't like his name. Nobody does. Um, so anyway, Fire Monkey King's got a built-in sustainability. Uh, recovers 15% of his HP. It's pretty nice. And it's got a defense break in that same skill as well. 50% of the HP, it seems like a lot more. When you build him tanky, that 15% goes a really long way, especially how many times he'll be using that skill throughout a fight. It's ridiculous. Okay, now the third pro to the Fire Monkey King is that he's got a raid leader skill, a very, very useful and needed required R5 raid leader skill, and that's his defense 33%. Um, a lot of people need that. Almost every single R5 team has to have a defense leader skill in it. So he's he could he could be that defense leader guy. He could be that guy. Uh, four, he can't be stunned. That's that's awesome. He can't be stunned. So even in raids, when they blow the fire down, he can't be stunned. That's not gonna happen to him. So that's pretty crazy. And so that means will runes, you may not need them. You may not need them. Um, and then the fifth pro would be that he gets better as the fight goes on. So the more, the longer the fight is, the, the better, the harder he's going to hit. And that's because of his passive here. He gains music, immunity to inability effects, and then his attack power increases by 20% every single time he's attacked. So 200% attack power when he's at full max, max clicks, or whatever you guys want to call them, max hits. 200% of his attack power, just like that. Just like that. And what does that mean? A sustained monster, that means you're going to be wanting to put him on Guild Wars because those matches last longer. Or you're going to be wanting to put him on maybe Arena Defense, Raids. And I say that's where that's the main places that he would excel in. Now what are some of his cons though? Every, every monster pretty much has some cons. And for the Fire Monkey King, the first one would be that he only excels in Guild War and Raid. There's not much really else. He's an option in Arena Defense if you don't have other monsters, but I wouldn't say that he's the best option out there. Uh, the second con would be that he is single target. Again, any single target is a little bit disadvantaged for the most part in this game, but for Guild Wars, it works. That's why he excels in Guild Wars. Um, and raids. You don't need to. You don't need to attack AOE in raids. Um, now third, he has pretty low base HP stats for someone that you want to be tanky. Only like a little over ten thousand. That's not much when it comes down to it. His fourth con would be that he has low base attack. Now I understand though with his passive that attack would scale tremendously if his attack were higher. So that's probably why they kept it so low. So it's. It is low, but once the, the once the fight goes on, you can see that increase, and it's okay. But you have to get to that point first before his attack is actually multiplied. Now, you you can't just like with Leica that I just reviewed yesterday. You can't just have him from the start of the gate do 
freaking amazing damage. He will do damage, don't get me wrong, but he's not going to do amazing damage until he gets a couple clicks on him. That's that's the only drawback, the con to, to, to the Monkey King here. And the fifth con, I would say the most detrimental to all Fire Monkey Kings is that he gets outplayed in raids by the Fire Panda. I know, the free fusible monster. Because that panda also has the 33% leader skill for defense. And then it does so many more debuffs that you need in raid that that Fire Monkey King just doesn't do, unfortunately. So for raids, I would say go with the Fire Panda instead of Fire Monkey King. That's my opinion. If you if you don't want to, that's he works, but Fire Panda is gonna give you better results. Okay, so let's get into the runes though. What are what are your runes as an early game player? What are you looking to accomplish? Now, I would say despair is a fine set. If you can't have any other set but despair, that's okay. Um, because that's what you can get from dragons. I'm sorry, not dragons, from giants for the most part. So that's what that's gonna do is it's gonna amplify his first skill, it's gonna ampl amplify his second skill to do damage plus stun, and it's not a bad it's not a bad option. Now his offset for early game would definitely be either energy or guard. You want to have something that's going to make him a little bit tankier. Maybe blade depending on your actual rune substats, but you guys have to look at that yourselves. I can't give you all the information because I don't know what runes you have. Um, now for the two, four, and six slot runes, for the two slot you want to go attack or HP. I would say lean towards HP for that, for that rune slot. But if you ha only had attack, attack works fine. For the four slot, you can go either crit rate or crit damage. Um, same single target rules apply for the crit rate. If you have, if you can get eighty-five to ninety percent crit rate for Fire Monkey King with crit damage on slot four, then absolutely go for it. If you can't, then I recommend going crit rate slot four and getting crit damage from the substats instead. Uh, and then for the 6th slot, go either attack or HP, again, depending on your substats. If you can get a lot of HP in your substats, go attack. If you can get a lot of attack substats, then go HP in the 6th slot. Okay, so you guys kind of got to weigh it out, and maybe do one of each. Maybe do attack, crit damage, HP, HP, crit damage, attack, something like that, you know, just... Do one of each. Have somewhere in between. He's going to be like a bruiser. He's definitely a bruiser. Um, and then also if you feel like you're dying too quickly, you can always go HP, crit damage, HP. He'll still do damage based on his passive. Um, for late game, you definitely want to get him to violent. And I would say you would want to get him to revenge, especially if you're going to be running him in raids. He, he He's going to be a frontliner. He's going to be a frontliner, so you want him to have that revenge um, now if you're gonna be running him in raids I would say put one of his slots crit uh, one of his slots defense one of his slots HP then the crit damage in the middle because he needs to have a little bit of defense there uh, but for late game two four six slot again attack or HP crit damage attack or HP that's about it same thing that I just went over for the early game as far as substats go um, now the substat priorities Crit rate, try to get that to 85 to 90 percent. Then work on your HP stats, then defense, then speed, then crit damage. Um, again, HP or attack, they're kind of interchangeable depending on what you use on your two and six slot runes. Uh, for team combos for raids, I would say put them in the front line with either Diaz or Darian. And then you can have your Hua, your Colleen, your Lisa, Konamiya, uh, whatever else in the back line. But this is definitely going to be a frontliner monster hands down hands down frontliner monster uh for guild wars i would say put him with like a chasen or a theomars a theomars is going to help out his crit rate or you could have him as the leader and help out you know your, your chasen and your theomars make them last a little bit longer you can also throw if you don't if you don't want to put chasen on this team you could put um orion in the team instead so anything that's going to give him kind of like an edge, make sure that you're removing removing some will runes, removing some buffs and stuff with Orion, and then that way the Fire Monkey King has some clear shot at, at a monster. 
Uh, it's pretty much it. Some alternatives. It, it, you know, it's kind of the same monsters that keep coming up for these guys. I know it's kind of boring, but again, Perna, Laika, Wind Monkey King, that's a new one. Uh, but pretty much the same kind of stuff for Wind Monkey King. And then Fire Panda, like I said, for raids is definitely an option for an alternative. Uh, his overall rating, though, I would say it's... It's not going to be the best because he's not going to be really used all over the place. I had a hard time giving him the rating that I gave him, and it's kind of I was kind of going in between three and three point five. But eventually, I gave him a three point five out of five. So not too bad, but again, not not the best either. Uh, but for those of you that have Fire Monkey King, definitely congratulations on him. If you know anybody that does have him that's wondering how to ruin him or where to use him, definitely share this video with him. And if this video helped. As always, please up like, subscribe, comment below, whatever you want. It helps me out. Appreciate it. And as always, stay soupy. We'll be going over the Fire Archangel tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be a good one. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.